Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to just look at cervical rotation and how do we know that we're doing it correctly. A lot of times we do techniques, we come in and we want to do rotation, let's say, to his left. And some, you'll see it and I'll say, do rotation to left, pick a segment or not, and you'll start seeing this, right? Because what they're doing is they're pushing a lot with their right hand. What I want you to get used to doing is your left hand is just as important. If I had a basketball and if I pushed the basketball right to the camera, I want to do is I wanted the basketball to go in a circle. So the way to, to do it, to, to practice, is I could pick up the head, right? And then I could just practice, can I do rotation of his neck with my left hand, right? If he's relaxed enough, I could just do that rotation. And then I could just take my right hand on it and then I can make sure I'm going in a circle. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but you see when I rotate his head to the left, my body is side bending to my left. Right, so the way to practice it again, come in. Again, it's all about how you handle, get the hand there, get there, practice, yes, yes, yes. So eventually you could do your up glides or you could do manipulation, but you have to have, to have to have control. So if I was you looking at it and I would say, how would I know if he's doing it wrong? I would look at the chin. Every time I, if I don't use this hand, every time I do it, see his chin kind of come towards you. It's kind of like that, you'll see. I want it to go in a circle. And that's the key. And there's a lot. This left hand is just as important as the right hand, sometimes even more because that's the guide. All right, try this out. Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.